Uh, I'm checking on connection. Yes, 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 we are live. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, losing the joy and the fun when you're acting. So you may have felt that or you may feel like you have lost it. So I meet a lot of actors from all levels, actually, who are feeling um, a certain level of that, like frustration, some pain, some yeah unhappy unfulfilled and um of course that's annoying because you are probably putting a lot in your work you're probably investing a lot of time resources and you're passionate about acting and you've probably been acting for a very long time and so when you're auditioning or when you're acting if it doesn't feel fun if it doesn't feel joyful if you're not fulfilled it kind of defies the purpose of acting in the first place, right? The reason you probably started acting is because it feels amazing. The reason you're doing anything is probably because it feels amazing. This is your life and you get to actually do what you want and you've chosen this job, this career, this passion because you love it. So being in front of the paradox of way, shoot, especially if you're acting a lot and, and if you've been successful at it, which happens a lot uh, to realize that oh I am having the opportunities and yet when I'm acting it doesn't feel good I, I'm not feeling the joy I'm not feeling the fun of it um, but yet I'm still passionate so I'm meeting a lot of actors who have been in the industry for decades and who've been working all their life successfully and who are feeling a lot of pain or feeling a lot of frustration when they're acting and yet they can't get out of the business because they're working and that's all they've ever done and they know they love it they just don't know how to bridge the gap between I'm feeling all of this stickiness and I don't like it and yet I'm an actor and I like that so how do how do I you know how do I solve that or you're um, beginning or on your way to having all of the jobs that you want and you are also feeling the pain and you may be feeling well sometimes it's because they don't give me enough time or because I'm auditioning and the role is not for me or the casting director is not nice or I don't have enough time or I have too many pages of sides that I need to learn or I don't get it or they don't send me enough information or I don't like the actor I'm playing with so I'm hearing a lot of people you know feeling like there are reasons why you're not feeling the joy, the fulfillment, and the fun when you're when you're acting, right? And so you may feel that. You may feel, you know, I am not satisfied when I'm acting, and I know exactly why. It's because I don't have enough jobs, because it's too much pressure when I'm auditioning or self-taping, or because it's too much pressure on set, or not the type of roles that I want, or people are not being nice with me, or the casting director doesn't like me. I mean, I, I hear all sorts of things and you might have felt all of these things. And I hear you, I understand you that when we're not feeling the joy and the fun, how we intended it, our first reaction will usually be to point finger at someone, to blame and to say it's their fault. And again, it's because of the industry, it's because of the competition, it's because it's unfair, it's because of the casting director, it's because, 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 because. And that will not serve you. Um, so you may have done that and therefore you may have tried to work harder. I'm hearing a lot of actors do so many acting workshops, reading a lot of different acting books, going to therapy, trying to fix yourself basically, trying to improve, trying to get better because we're in that culture where you there is something wrong with you and you can always get better and improve, be better. Like if you look at Instagram, that's all you'll see. It's about being better. It's about improving. And I am a little bit here to debunk that and to say that you're perfect and there's nothing to improve and nothing to get better because you're perfect. And so that also means in terms of responsibility that if you're not feeling the fun and the joy, it means that it's an inside job for you to find why you're not feeling the fun and the joy. As long as you're going to point fingers at 
it's that person's fault or that industry or because of that event or because of this is not happening. As long as I'm pointing outside to my circumstances, then I'm a victim of those circumstances. If it's because of my education, if it's because of my parents, if it's because of the industry, if it's because of my neighbor, my colleague, my, 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 the person I'm acting with, the director I'm acting with, the casting director, then it means they are the bad guys and I'm the poor victim and there's nothing I can do about it. And so though I understand that that is the first reaction we'll usually have when something doesn't work and it doesn't feel good, we will want to point at something that happened and that will be the reason why we're not enjoying and fun. But again, actually that just keeps you in a victim loop and it doesn't give you the power to change what you're feeling, to take action. And so the way I would like for us to look at this discussion is to say that the joy and the fun is always an inside job. You and I all know from every industry and from this industry too, a lot of people who have everything going on. And we see some in our community who come in and they have all the stuff and all the credits and all the roles. And yet they're coming because it doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel fulfillment. It, it doesn't feel like fulfillment. It, there is no joy when they're acting. Quite the opposite. It feels like pain. It feels like unfulfillment. And so that means that the, the, the focus and the attention, um, you want to be putting that on what is causing me to contract. When you were born, you were open, free, truthful all the time. And you were feeling a lot of joy and a lot of fun and a lot of rage and a lot of sadness and a lot of fear. You were open to all of it. Okay. And then education happens, programming, conditioning, wiring, and progressively your instrument contracts. All kids are free. Remember when you were playing with your toys, you'd have two characters and none of you was thinking, no, no part of you was thinking, am I doing this right? This isn't, I'm playing, but it's not fun. No, you were really interested in the experience and you were enjoying it and it was fun because you weren't trying to be good. You weren't trying to do it right. But little by little, you're conditioned in a world, in a society, in a culture that is telling you that you're not supposed to feel what you're feeling. You're not supposed to do what you're doing. Don't be angry. Don't be sad. Don't be scared. Feel what I'm telling you to feel. Feel what I'm wanting you to feel. And then you do that. Because when your parents are scolding you, punishing you because you've been angry, they remove their love, they remove their approval, they remove their appreciation of you, and that feels painful. And therefore, you don't want that feeling anymore. What you do want is the security, is the love, is the validation that they give you when you behave like they want you to, right? And so that's the way that your conditioning works from your first day until now. So you've been conditioned not to feel. You've been conditioned to think like you were told, to feel like you were told, to behave like you were told, to eat at the time that you were told. You've even been asked to calibrate your body basic needs, your primal needs to what you were asked. At school, you go to the bathroom when it's time to go. You eat when it's time to go eat. You don't eat when you're hungry. You don't pee when you want to pee. Still to this day, my son is 15 and at his school, he's not allowed to go to the bathroom unless if he does, he loses points. If he doesn't during the whole semester, he gets more points. I mean, how fucked up is that? Right? So you've been conditioned that way. So of course, the work that we do in the community, in this community is to progressively undo all of this conditioning that made you believe that there is a right way for you to feel, to behave, to be, to connect, to relate, to think. And we work through that conditioning so that you can get that childlike self back so that you can go back to what nature intended to you for you. You were built perfectly free, 
perfectly truthful, perfect human being, beautifully messed up. That's how you were built. And that's where the joy and the fun is. The joy and the fun comes from experiencing yourself. I can even say experiencing self. That's where the joy and the fun comes. You're in this lifetime to experience the joy and the fun of being you. And every time you contract because you're trying to be someone else, someone better, someone more this, more that, doing it more right, looking more good, putting all the masks in front, you cannot feel fun and appreciation of yourself and fulfillment and joy because you're basically stepping out, hopping out of your body and into authority, the authority that raised you. And you're trying to be the good girl or the good boy to please authority so that you'll stay safe. And that feels like pain, frustration, contraction, Um, there's a word in Spanish that comes agoviante. It feels like suffocating. And you may not have felt it this graphically, but I see so many actors move into our community and come in and say, it's become excruciating to act because all of your energy is put into trying to be interesting rather than actually being interested in the moment, right? So if this makes sense to you, um, let us know. You can send us a um, direct message and um, let us know if you have any questions. If you want to do this work, uh, you also have in the about section or in the link in the bio in Instagram, you have some free trainings that you can take a look at and that will get you started. But if you're like, oh, this is this is this is what I want. I want to go back to me. I want to move through. Um, that conditioning and get back into my true self, my instinct, my freedom, so that I can feel the joy and the fun when I'm acting again, so I'm not feeling super con contracted. Um, oh, Daniel is saying, can you please say all that again? Because it was wonderful. You can listen to it. I'll post it. Um, and Daniel, if you go in the link in the bio, you can download a um, free training And that will, will take it deeper so you can start that way. If you're like, oh, no, 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 I want to do this all the way, uh, then you can, um, you can DM us and we can send you some information and we can let you know when we open enrollment. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, you guys. Um, I hope this made sense and I'm wishing you so much fun and joy uh, because there's nothing less that you should be experiencing when you're acting. It's your passion. It's your art. You need it and the audience needs you to be super open, super fulfilled, super enjoying what you're doing so that you're transmitting um, everything that is needed for your character. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.